वेलकम टू द वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन मशीन लर्निंग टुडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज ऑन लॉजिस्टिक रिग्रेशन प्रीवियस ऑल सेशंस यू हैव सीन द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ रिग्रेशन लाइक लीनियर रिग्रेशन मल्टीपल लीनियर रिग्रेशन पॉलिनोमियल रिग्रेशन बेसिकली रिग्रेशन इज यूज टू प्रेडिक द कंटिन्यूस वैल्यूज लॉजिस्टिक रिग्रेशन नाउ वर्क्स स्लाइटली डिफरेंटली इट इज नॉट गोइंग टू प्रेडिक्ट द कंटिन्यूस वैल्यूज बट इट कैन प्रेडिक्ट द कैटेगोरिकल वैल्यूज दट इज द बाइनरी वैल्यूज सो वेन इट इज प्रेडिक्टिंग द कैटेगोरिकल वैल्यूज वी से इट इज यूज फॉर द बाइनरी क्लासिफिकेशन लॉजिस्टिक रिग्रेशन इज सुटेबल फॉर बाइनरी क्लासिफिकेशन हियर द आउटपुट इज वॉट ए कैटेगोरिकल वेरिएबल वेन वी से कैटेगोरिकल वैल्यूज दट मीन्स वॉट काइंड ऑफ आउटपुट यू आर गोइंग टू ओपटेन फॉर एग्जाम्पल हियर इज द मेल स्पैम और नॉट स्पैम द एंसर इज यस और नो दस कैटेगोरिकल डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल इज अ बाइनरी रिस्पॉन्स ऑफ यस और नो सेकेंड एग्जाम्पल इफ द स्टूडेंट शुड बी एडमिटेड और नॉट बेस्ड ऑन एंट्रेंस एग्जामिनेशन मार्क्स हियर कैटेगोरिकल वेरिएबल रिस्पॉन्स इज एडमिटेड और नॉट द थर्ड एग्जाम्पल द स्टूडेंट बींग पास और फेल इज बेस्ड ऑन द मार्क्स सिक्योर्ड from logistic regression we will be getting such categorical responses thus logistic regression is used as a binary classifier and works by predicting the probability of the categorical variable in general it takes one or more features x and predicts the response y so earlier also in all the regression you have seen that suppose if it was linear y equal to a0 plus a1 into x where x is what is your independent variable and y is dependent variable so the regression was predicting the value of y based on the coefficients of regression and x here in logistic regression since it is going to predict the categorical values the output or the responses will be always in the range of the values between 0 and 1 only so we say it is going to give the output using the probability linear regression generated value is in the range minus of infinity to plus of infinity whereas the probability of the response variable ranges between 0 and 1 hence there must be a mapping function to map the value minus of infinity to plus of infinity to 0 to 1 so any value that is obtained in between minus of infinity to plus of infinity should be mapped between 0 and 1 so for that what type of function is required in order to map such values the core of the mapping function is the logistic regression method called as the sigmoidal function a sigmoidal function is a yes shaped function that yields value between 0 and 1 this is known as log it function so this log it function mathematically can be represented as log it of x equal to 1 divided by 1 plus of e raised to minus of x in this equation x is your independent variable and e is the euler number the purpose of the log it function is to map any real number to 0 or 1 so whatever real numbers you obtain in the form of output those numbers should get mapped either to 0 or 1 see the logistic function is given by now this is what you have to remember you have seen that in linear regression y equal to a0 plus a1 into x y equal to a0 plus a1 into x if i am taking this particular term equal to z then i can write it as 1 divided by 1 plus of e xp that is the e raised to minus of z i can write this as so it is quite easy also to remember 1 plus of what is that you are writing 1 plus of e raised to minus of z when you simplify this you are getting the probability value here that that probability value will be observed and it will be checked whether it lies below 0.5 or above 0.5 that means the threshold in the logistic regression is set to 0.5 if the probability value is greater than or equal to 0.5 then the logistic regression classify that as 1 otherwise it will classify it as zero you will be computing the probability value for a given value of x and see whether that value is above 0.5 or below 0.5 if it is below 0.5 then it will classify as zero if it is above 0.5 it will classify as one let us see one example here let us assume the binomial this is the problem statement binomial logistic regression problem where the classes are pass and fail the student data set has entrance marks based on the historic data of those who are selected or no, not selected based on the logistic regression the value of the learned parameters are a0 equal to 1 and a1 equal to 8 assuming marks of x equal to 60 compute the resultant class 
so before solving this uh, one more thing i would like to tell in all the previous regression problems you were computing the value for a0 and a1 that is the regression coefficients here in case of logistic regression in the problem statement the values for a0 and a1 will be given actually there is a process here also to compute the values for a0 and a1 and that process name or the procedure is called the maximum likelihood estimation method but here in your syllabus you will be given in the problem statement itself the values for a0 and a1 and the value for x that means for what new value of x you will be computing the class or you will be classifying or predicting the class so in this problem statement you, you are going to predict the class for a value of x x equal to 60 a0 is given and a1 is given so how to proceed first write down the given values so the regression coefficient values given are a0 equal to 1 a1 equal to 8 x equal to 60 so you are making use of this equation 1 y equal to 1 plus of e x p raised to minus of z so we are using the variable y here y is your dependent variable whatever value you obtained for y will be a probability value that will be mapped to 0 or 1 let us see that so now this equation is what minus of z z is what a0 plus a1 into x so just substitute the values a0 is your 1 a1 is 8 x is 60 all these three are given you will get 481 so substitute here in the equation 1 divided by 1 plus of e raised to minus of 481 when you do the simplification you are getting 0.44 so what you have to do is 0.44 you have to compare with the threshold value is is it less than or equal to 0 0.5 or greater than 0 0.5 here it is less than 0 0.5 if it is less than 0 0.5 then it is going to classify the output as not selected okay we have actually only two options here selected not selected whether the student is selected based on the entrance examination marks or not selected since you got a value as 0 0.44 which is less than the threshold value the output will be what it will classify it as not selected so this is how very simple let us see one more type of example here in this example a training data set is provided and the number of hours of study of a student values for the y that is the dependent variables are all the categorical values so if a student is studying for one hour it is zero zero is fail here and one is pass if the student is studying for two hours it is zero three hours zero four hours one five hours one six hours one you are supposed to find out in this problem statement for x equal to 3.5 that means if a student is studying for 3.5 hours to which particular class the student belongs to whether he passes or fails pass is one and fail is zero for that very simple make use of this equation y equal to 1 divided by 1 plus of e raised to minus of z here your z is how much z equal to a0 plus a1 into x so the same thing i am substituting here directly 1 plus of e raised to minus of this minus and z is a0 a0 given is how much in the problem statement minus 6 fine plus a1 given is 1.5 and x value is 3.5 x 3.5 denotes the number of hours of study when you substitute and simplify you will get 0 0.32 so check here 0 0.32 whether it falls below the threshold or above the threshold since it is less than 0 0.5 then the prediction is fail so as i said in the beginning the core of logistic regression is the sigmoid function so let us see how that sigmoid function appears in the graph so let us visualize this output also this is what is the visual diagram for the sigmoid function all the probability values will lie between 0 and 1 so the sigmoid curve will always look like a yes shaped curve. threshold value will be 0 0.5 you can. now whatever values were given just for our reference we will try to see how it appears in the graph so here what i have done is on the x axis number of hours studied i have plotted and y is your basically what the values the probability values what you get when you plot it on the graph actually you have to plot the probability values only which are all between zeros and one then those values will get mapped either to 0 or 1. So when this x values are given as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, what is the probability value? For that you can make use of the equation 1 divided by 1 plus of e raised to minus of a0 plus a1 into x. Okay, a1 and a0 of course are given, whatever are given. 
so those values only you will be substituting and every time you change the value for x x equal to 1 you are getting 0 0.01 x equal to 2 you are getting 0 0.047 x equal to 3.182 x equal to 4 0.5 x equal to 5 you will be getting 0.818 x equal to 6.953 so these points will appear in the graph like this fine right? In this problem statement, x equal to 3.5 and for that we got p equal to 0.32. So, where that particular 3.5, I am just showing here, x equal to 3.5, your value will be here somewhere. This will be your 0.32. So, 0.32 falls below 0.5 and hence the logistic regression model will classify that as fail. In the solution, all these points which I have drawn, x equal to 1, x equal to 2, just to get the clarity. But what you are supposed to do is, you can only compute for whatever x value is given in the problem statement. Here, x equal to 3.5 is given. Just compute for x equal to 3.5 and get the value for the probability which is 0.32 and plot it on this curve here. Somewhere it will appear like this, 0.32, so which is below this 0.5 and it is classifying it as fail all the other points which i have shown here the calculation x equal to 1 2 3 4 is for just the clarity this is how the logistic regression model works it is basically used for binary classification hope you find this session helpful please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye and take care